WFDNY and NYPD responding to an attack at the Fulton William Street subway station Saturday morning, where police say a 29-year-old woman got into an argument with her boyfriend that turned violent. Investigators say the boyfriend pushed the woman onto the tracks, an oncoming three train amputating both of her feet, according to detectives. She may never be able to walk again. And that's what we've been saying. This is just one of many incidents that we've been seeing this year alone. While that attack appears to have been targeted, city data shows subway crimes are on the rise, with a 13% spike in violence compared to the same time last year. Just last week, police say this man slashed a 27-year-old man in the hand on the A train. A day earlier, detectives say a man slashed an MTA conductor in the neck on the C train. This latest attack comes just days after Governor Kathy Hochul announced her five-point subway safety plan to make subway safer, including deploying the National Guard into stations to help police conduct bag checks. She appeared on PIX11 News to talk about that plan. They're there just as a deterrent to those who might think that they can get away with committing crime. So this is to supplement what the NYPD is already doing during this time of, of heightened anxiety and concern. But transit workers are calling that plan a temporary fix. They rallied outside her office Friday, demanding better protections with at least eight MTA workers brutalized so far this year on the job. I've been assaulted four times and attempted sexual assault. The recent string of violence has subway riders on high alert, hoping for permanent solutions. It puts you on like edge and makes you want to be like more aware. I don't know if like there's any like specific almost like MTA security system that could be put in place. I think that would make people feel more comfortable. And we are still waiting to hear back from the New York National Guard about whether or not uh, troops were deployed to the station at the time of that attack. Now, as for that woman's boyfriend who police say pushed her onto the tracks, investigators say they have a person of interest in custody, no charges pending at this hour.